Good morning, everyone. So as you can see, I've got a pretty ugly looking cabinet unit here. Um, there's a lot of old furniture that's still hanging around the property. And these cabinets were in kind of the area in the cottage that's going to become our bathroom. So basically what I'm going to do is see if I can give these cabinets a bit of a new life because we are going to install them as a small kitchenette in this um, boathouse cabin because we don't want to spend money on kitchens and things like that at the moment and these are just basic cabinets so I think if I stand them up and give them a bit of nice paint and add new handles and um, create a trim for them then I think we can have a nice little set of kitchen cabinets here for basically free. So that's what I'm going to get up to today. It's the last of the cold, cold weather today. So this uh, winter is really hanging in there, but yeah, we sort of have really warm temperatures coming up after today. So hopefully all the snow is melted and we can just get on with things a lot easier and a lot quicker than when we've got snow covering the ground. So this is my job today. Martin is uh, busy bringing more wood supplies down. And yeah, I'm just gonna get on with that and see how we go. So I'm just using 120 grit to take off like the old coating that's on it a little bit. Um, you can repaint them once you've done that. So yeah, let's see how that goes. first time painting kitchen cabinets <laughs> so I have seen other people do it with a roller and I also watched a couple of videos just to see what people were saying so I am expecting this first coat to be kind of streaky and then I'll sand it in between when it's dried um, and obviously not have for it and I don't expect it to have the full coverage yet and things like that so I'm just gonna trust the process <laughs> and hope for the best. Thank you. 
Two, uh, sorry, one coat on here now of just a very thin layer. So I'm going to do these side panels now and then spin it around and do the other side. It says to wait two hours in between, but I can see it's already drying quite quickly. So I don't think I'll sand it in between coats on the first one, but maybe as I build up the coats just to get rid of some brush marks.
So that's it, three coats now. And we'll leave those to dry. And yeah, if they need any touch-ups tomorrow or any other spots that I've missed or a diff another coat, we'll see what they look like. But um, they look really nice for now, so yeah, happy about that. <laughs> I thought I'd take a look at this little table because we have a lot of cool old furniture around here but most of it has been painted in like really horrible looking paint but the furniture pieces themselves are quite nice and we wanted to check to see if they're worth saving any of them because this one fits perfectly down in the boathouse cabin so um, I wanted to have a look at the wood underneath and uh, actually it turns out to be something beautiful with a lovely grain through it. Uh, I don't know too much about woods yet, so that's something that we're learning slowly. But it looks really nice. It's definitely not pine or anything like that. It's something more of a hardwood. So I'm just using this heat gun that we borrowed from Martin's parents, thank you, um, because it makes short work of this disgusting paint. I'm much nicer to use than the sander. So after I get all this gunk off, I can give it a nice sanding and we'll coat that with oil. And I think we're gonna use this as a little kind of table for, you know, just a little coffee table or something down in the, the, um, the boathouse. So yeah, beautiful piece of furniture and super happy about giving it a second life.